The Canadian Military Engineers CME is the military engineer branch of the Canadian Armed Forces. Members of the branch who wear Army uniform comprise the Corps of Royal Canadian Engineers RCE, French, Corps du Génie Royal Canadien. The mission of the Canadian Military Engineers is to contribute to the survival, mobility, and combat effectiveness of the Canadian Armed Forces. Their roles are to conduct combat operations, support the Canadian forces in war and peace, support national development, provide assistance to civil authorities, and support international aid programs. Military engineers' responsibilities encompass the use of demolitions and land mines, the design, construction and maintenance of defensive works and fortifications, urban operations, hostile room entry, breaching obstacles, establishing, maintaining lines of communication, and bridging. They also provide water, power and other utilities, provide fire, aircraft crash and rescue services, hazardous material operations, and develop maps and other engineering intelligence. In addition, military engineers are experts in deception and concealment, as well as in the design and development of equipment necessary to carry out these operations. The official role of the combat engineer is to allow friendly troops to live, move and fight on the battlefield and deny that to the enemy. Topic. History Topic. Creation Following the Boer War the Canadian government realised that the defence of Canada required more than just a single infantry battalion and a few artillery batteries as part of the permanent defence force. In 1903 the Royal Canadian Engineers were founded as the basis of the permanent military engineers, while the militia had the Royal Canadian Engineers created under the leadership of a former Royal Military College of Canada officer cadet, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Weatherby. Topic. First World War One of the first tasks completed by the engineers after the declaration of war upon Germany in 1914 was for the rapid development of the Valcadier training site in Quebec. At its peak size 30,000 men were stationed here before the 1st Canadian Division was deployed to England. When the 1st Division arrived on the front in Belgium they were accompanied by field companies of the Canadian Engineers men recruited into the service after the start of the war were part of the militia branch and not the regulars. These troops were responsible for construction of defences, sanitation systems, water supplies, bridging, and assisting with trench raids. Canadian Engineers also served in the Middle East fighting the Turks. One of the most important functions of the sappers in the war was to dig tunnels for mines underneath enemy trenches, with which to plant explosives to destroy them. At the Battle of Vimy Ridge, and particularly at the Battle of Messines, several such mines were used to win the battle. The Canadian military engineers contributed three tunneling companies to the British Expeditionary Force, 1st Canadian Tunneling Company, 2nd Canadian Tunneling Company and 3rd Canadian Tunneling Company. One was formed from men on the battlefield, while two other companies first trained in Canada and were then shipped to France. In the war the only Victoria Cross the Canadian engineers ever received was earned by Captain C. N. Mitchell for actions on 8 October 1918 at Canal de Iasco, northeast of Cambrai. In total, more than 40,000 Canadians served as engineers in the war, with 14,000 on the front on the last day of the war. Topic. Between the wars On demobilization, the permanent force of engineers was changed to 38 officers and 249 other ranks. As a matter of honor, King George V, the Canadian monarch bestowed on the organization the right to use the prefix royal before its name in 1932. 
On 29 April 1936, the militia and permanent components were joined to form the Corps of Royal Canadian Engineers. On this date the militia adopted the cap badge used by the regulars. Topic. Second World War The Corps of Royal Canadian Engineers expanded dramatically in size to support Canada's war effort. On August 31, 1939, the Permanent Force Engineers included 50 officers with 14 seconded to other branches of the Canadian Army and 323 other ranks. The maximum size of the Corps was reached in 1944, when it included 210 officers and 6,283 other ranks. In keeping with British Army practice, company sized units in the two armoured divisions were called squadrons. Following cavalry terminology. The following units were deployed in Canada and in Europe. 1st Canadian Infantry Division 1st Field Company 3rd Field Company 4th Field Company 2nd Field Park Company 2nd Canadian Infantry Division 2nd Field Company 7th Field Company 11th Field Company 1st Field Park Company 3rd Canadian Infantry Division 6th Field Company 16th Field Company 18th Field Company 3rd Field Park Company 4th Canadian Armored Division 6th Field Squadron 8th Field Squadron 9th Field Park Squadron 5th Canadian Armored Division 1st Field Squadron 10th Field Squadron 4th Field Park Squadron 6th Canadian Infantry Division in Pacific Command 20th Field Company 25th Field Company 26th Field Company 7th Field Park Company 7th Canadian Infantry Division in Atlantic Command 15th Field Company 23rd Field Company 27th Field Company 5th Field Park Company 8th Canadian Infantry Division in Pacific Command 21st Field Company 24th Field Company 1st Canadian Corps 12th Field Company 13th Field Company 14th Field Company 9th Field Park Company 1st Drilling Company 2nd Canadian Corps 29th Field Company 30th Field Company 31st Field Company 8th Field Park Company 2nd Drilling Company 1st Canadian Army 1st Canadian Army Troops Engineers 5th Field Company Unit Code 1207 20th Field Company Unit Code 1208 23rd Field Company Unit Code 1209 10th Field Park Company Unit Code 1210 2nd Canadian Army Troops Engineers 32nd Field Company 33rd Field Company 34th Field Company 11th Field Park Company Number 1 Workshop and Park Company 1st Field Air Survey Company 2nd Field Survey Company 3rd Field Reproduction Survey Company General Headquarters GHQ and Line of Communication Lock Troops 1st Mechanical Equipment Company 1st Mechanical Equipment Park Company 2nd Battalion 3rd Battalion 1st Road Construction Company 2nd Road Construction Company No. 1 Railway Operating Company No. 1 Railway Workshop Company Other Units 1st Chemical Warfare Company in Canada, September 1942 to 31 August 1943 
Second Chemical Warfare Company in Canada, September 1942 to the 31st of August 1943. Number One Tunneling Company RCE in Gibraltar. Number Two Tunneling Company RCE. In Gibraltar, the senior officers of the Corps in World War II were as follows. Chief Engineer, 1st Canadian Army. Major General Charles Sumner Lund Hertzberg, the 6th of April 1942 to the 23rd of June 1943. Brigadier James Learmont Melville, the 24th of June 1943 to October 1943. Brigadier Alistair Thompson McLean, the 20th of October 1943 to the 1st of September 1944. Brigadier Jeffrey Walsh, the 2nd of September 1944 to the 20th of July 1945. Colonel Henry Lloyd Muser, acting chief engineer, the 21st of July 1945 to the 31st of December 1945. Chief Engineer, 1st Canadian Corps. Brigadier Charles Sumner Lund Hertzberg, the 25th of December 1940 to the 6th of April 1942. Brigadier James Learmont Melville, the 6th of April 1942 to October 1943. Brigadier Alan Burton Connolly, 1943-1944. Brigadier Colin Alexander Campbell, the 27th of July 1944 to the 23rd of April 1945. Brigadier John Despard Christian, the 24th of April 1945 to the 17th of July 1945. Chief Engineer, 2nd Canadian Corps. Brigadier Alistair Thompson McLean, 1943. Brigadier William Norman Archibald Bostock, 1943-1944. Brigadier Jeffrey Walsh, the 13th of February 1944 to the 1st of September 1944. Brigadier Dudley Kingdon Black, the 2nd of September 1944 to the 16th of June 1945. Topic: Korea. Topic. Unification and the Cold War On 1 February 1968, the Canadian Army, Royal Canadian Navy, and Royal Canadian Air Force were officially unified as the Canadian Armed Forces. As such the Royal Canadian Engineers, Royal Canadian Navy Civil Engineers and Royal Canadian Air Force Construction Division were amalgamated. However, the new branch went under the name Royal Canadian Engineers until 1973 when the branch was officially named as the Canadian Military Engineers. The present-day structure of Army field units was set on 17 June 1977 with the creation of one Combat Engineer Regiment 1 CER, 2 CER, 4 ESR and 5 CER. The new regiments were each created from one of the squadrons of the former One Field Engineer Regiment. Topic: 21st Century. The role of the Canadian military engineers has been expanding. The regular force component has been expanding the size of their units due to the current missions of the Canadian Armed Forces. In April 1997, Canada's primary reserve reorganized into 10 brigade groups and in November 1997, the 1st Reserve Combat Engineer Regiment was created by converting an armoured reconnaissance regiment. A number of years later the three field engineer regiments, and seven independent field engineer squadrons were reorganized into combat engineer regiments. Three Canadian brigade groups had more than one engineer unit, and one 38 Canadian brigade group did not have any units at all. 
Now the field engineer regiments have been redesignated or amalgamated to become combat engineer regiments, and the field engineer squadrons have either been amalgamated to make new combat engineer regiments or rerolled as generic engineer squadrons. 38 CBG previously had 21st Field Engineer Squadron, based in Flin Flon, Manitoba. It was however disbanded in 1995. In 2003, the Fort Garry Horse in Winnipeg, Manitoba, began hosting what became 31 Engineer Squadron in 2012. The brigade formed 46 Engineer Squadron in Saskatoon in 2012, which was a subunit of the North Saskatchewan Regiment until it gained full strength. Both squadrons are now subunits of 38 Combat Engineer Regiment. The deployment in Afghanistan required considerable use of engineers for road clearance, explosive ordnance disposal, heavy equipment, and combat support. By the end of the deployment, 16 members of the RCE were killed in Afghanistan. In April 2013, the Title Corps of Royal Canadian Engineers was brought back for the Army element of the branch. Topic. Customs and traditions Topic. Colonel in Chief Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada is the Colonel in Chief of the Canadian Military Engineers. King George V, Edward VIII, and George VI have all served as previous Colonels-in-Chief of the Royal Canadian Engineers. Topic. Mottos King George V granted the RCE the same mottos as the Royal Engineers. Ubik Latin. Everywhere serves as a substitution for the battle honours the Corps would have obtained if they were a line regiment. Quo fas et gloria ducunt Latin. Whither right and glory led. Topic. Cap badge From shortly after their creation until 1967, the Royal Canadian Engineers had a nearly identical cap badge to the Royal Engineers. This consisted of the cipher of the reigning monarch, surrounded by the garter, surmounted by the crown with the words Royal Canadian Engineers on the scroll at the bottom, and surrounded by maple leaves instead of laurels. The cap badge came to its current form after unification. Since the Royal Canadian Engineer cap badge was representative only of the Army, a new one was developed, which is almost identical to that worn by the Army's non-permanent Canadian engineers prior to the Great War, which was not bilingual and did not use enamel. In bilingual format, the words engineers and genie appear on the current cap badge indicating the bilingual nature of the CME. The word ubique also appears, a motto which has been inherited by engineers and artillery in the Canadian military from their British forebears. From the 1960s to the late 1980s or early 1990s, the branch badge was enamel highlighted cast metal with a prong type slider to attach to both the beret and forage cap. The collar dogs were miniatures of the badge. By 1998, the metal hat badge had been replaced by an embroidered cloth version which was sewn directly to the beret. Collar dogs were replaced by a crouching beaver over the motto Ubik. Left and right facing beavers are required for a complete set. Topic. Chimo The CME, RCE greeting or toast is Chimo. Chi Mo. This expression is also often used as a closing on correspondence between engineers. The word Chimo is derived from the Anuktitut greeting, Samo, Simu, that means Hello, Goodbye, Peace be with you, and similar sentiments. 
This salutation was used in the Ungava region of northern Quebec and shares the same derivation as Fort Chimo on Ungava Bay in northern Quebec. The current spelling and pronunciation is based on a Caucasian adaptation of the native language. On April 1, 1946, the Canadian Army assumed responsibility for the portions of the Alaska Highway that lay with Canadian boundaries. This section of the highway was renamed the Northwest Highway System, and the responsibility for maintenance was given to the Royal Canadian Engineers for the next 20 years. The soldiers of the CME, RCE adopted the greeting of Chimo, and in 1973 it became the cheer of the CME. Topic. CME flag The present CME flag was created at the time of unification. It measures six units long by three units high and as in the colors of brick red and royal blue topic engineer prayer the engineer prayer was created for two field engineer regiment by major hugh macdonald the unit's padre it goes as follows Almighty God, we pray Thee to bless the Canadian military engineers. May our bridges always stand, and our charges never fail, our members be ever loyal, and our officers worthy of their loyalty. May we work diligently in all our purposes and be skilled in our trades, steadfast for Queen and country everywhere. Amen. Topic. Patron Saint. The Canadian military engineers have no patron saint but engineers often take part in artillery celebrations honouring Saint Barbara, the patron saint of the artillery. Engineers, along with the artillery and miners, celebrate her feast day on December 4. Saint Barbara is the patroness of artillerymen, fireworks manufacturers, firemen, stonemasons, against sudden death, against fires, and against storms, especially lightning storms. Topic. Band The branch maintained a military band in its ranks from 1953 to 1968. The Band of the Royal Canadian Engineers was activated at the Royal Canadian School of Military Engineering in Chilliwack, British Columbia, recruiting members from the United Kingdom, the Netherlands and Hungary. During its 15 years in existence, the band has performed for members of the Canadian Royal Family, Governor Generals of Canada including Georges Vanier, and American President Lyndon B. Johnson. It has also performed during Expo 67, the Seattle Armed Forces Pageant, and the Centennial Grand Military Tattoo. Through these events, the band has the opportunity to travel throughout North America and Europe. Due to the reorganization of Canadian military bands as a result of the Canadian Forces Unification in 1968, the band was dissolved, with most being sent to the Royal Canadian Navy to be part of the Naden Band of the RCN. Topic. Equipment The CME, RCE has a number of equipment for use in supporting the Canadian forces at home and on deployment overseas. For more refer to engineering and support vehicles of the Canadian forces. Topic. Training Topic. Canadian Forces School of Military Engineering 
The Canadian Forces School of Military Engineering CFSME at CFB Gagetown in Oromocto, New Brunswick is responsible for the conduct of 85 different courses that span all ranks and occupations within the field, construction and airfield engineer organizations. CFSME is the Canadian Forces Centre of Excellence in Engineer Training and Home of the Engineers. Topic Units Topic Regular Force Units Canadian Forces School of Military Engineering, CFB Gagetown, New Brunswick, Field Engineering Training Squadron, Construction Engineering Training Squadron Reserve Engineer Training Squadron Tactics Squadron Construction Engineering and Management Squadron Explosive Ordnance Disposal Squadron Army Dive Center Standards Squadron Administration Squadron One Combat Engineer Regiment CFB Edmonton, Alberta Twelve Field Squadron 13 CIED Squadron 17 Armored Squadron 15 Support Squadron 18 Administration Squadron 2 Combat Engineer Regiment CFB Petawawa, Ontario 23 Field Squadron 24 Light Squadron 25 Support Squadron 26 Counter IED Squadron 28 Administration Squadron 4 Engineer Support Regiment CFB Gagetown, New Brunswick 42 Field Squadron 43 Counter IED Squadron 45 Support Squadron 48 Combat Service Support Squadron 5 Combat Engineer Regiment CFB Valcadier, Quebec 51 Field Squadron 52 Field Squadron 53 Light Field Squadron 55 Support Squadron 58 Administration Squadron 4 Construction Engineer Squadron CFB Cold Lake, Alberta 8 Construction Engineer Squadron CFB Trenton, Ontario 19 Construction Engineering Squadron CFB Comox, British Columbia 191 Construction Engineering Flight 195 Aircraft Rescue Fire Fighting Flight 1 Engineering Support Unit, Kingston, Ontario Mapping and Charting Establishment, Ottawa, Ontario Canadian Forces Fire Academy, CFB Borden, Ontario Pacific Naval Construction Troop, CFB Esquimalt, British Columbia Naval Construction Troop, CFB Halifax, Nova Scotia Topic. Reserve Force Units 31 Combat Engineer Regiment the Elgins Street, Thomas, Ontario 7 Engineer Squadron Street, Thomas, Ontario 48 Engineer Squadron Waterloo, Ontario 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, Toronto, Ontario 2 Engineer Squadron 47 Engineer Squadron, Training and Recruiting 33 Combat Engineer Regiment, Ottawa, Ontario 3 Engineer Squadron 5 Engineer Squadron 34 Combat Engineer Regiment, Westmount, Quebec 4 Engineer Squadron, Westmount, Quebec 9 Engineer Squadron, Rouen Noranda, Quebec. 16 Engineer Squadron, Training and Recruiting, Westmount, Quebec. 35 Combat Engineer Regiment, Quebec City, Quebec. 10 Engineer Squadron. 15 Engineer Squadron. 36 Combat Engineer Regiment, Nova Scotia. 20 Engineer Squadron, Halifax, Nova Scotia. 
45 Engineer Squadron, Sydney, Nova Scotia. 37 Combat Engineer Regiment, Street, Johns, Newfoundland, and Fredericton, New Brunswick. 1 Engineer Squadron, Fredericton, New Brunswick. 56 Engineer Squadron and Regimental Headquarters, Street, Johns, Newfoundland. 38 Combat Engineer Regiment. 31 Engineer Squadron, Winnipeg, Manitoba. 46 Engineer Squadron, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. 39 Combat Engineer Regiment. 6 Engineer Squadron, North Vancouver, British Columbia. 44 Engineer Squadron, Trail and Cranbrook, British Columbia. 54 Engineer Squadron, Chilliwack, British Columbia. 41 Combat Engineer Regiment, Edmonton, Alberta. 25 Engineer Squadron, Edmonton, Alberta. 33 Engineer Squadron, Calgary, Alberta. Administration Squadron. 14 Construction Engineer Squadron, Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. 91 Construction Engineer Flight, Gander, Newfoundland. 143 Construction Engineer Flight, Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. 144 Construction Engineer Flight, Pictou County, Nova Scotia. 192 Construction Engineer Flight, Aldergrove, British Columbia. Topic: Order of Precedence. Topic. See also List of Canadian organizations with royal prefix Royal Engineers, Columbia Detachment Royal Engineers, 